Did you know that the average systematic literature review takes 5 researchers 1.3 years to complete and publish? Literature reviews are the backbone of academic research, but they are notoriously challenging and time-consuming. Researchers often spend weeks, even months, sifting through hundreds of papers trying to identify trends and gaps in their field. Quite often, even after all this work, human-written literature reviews are imperfect. A meta-analysis found that 25% of citations contain substantive errors. That's one in four references potentially misleading readers. And other studies have found error rates up to 38%. And some studies suggest that 80% of scholars don't really read the papers they cite. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four practical use cases of Elicit, an AI-powered research assistant that will help you find relevant papers quickly extract key information systematically, identify research gaps, and with one click you'll be able to create a table with those studies in your review. I'll also discuss some of the limitations of AI-powered research tools for literature review. No, they won't help you do a literature review in minutes, but I do think they can make the process significantly faster and more efficient. Let's get started. But first, when it comes to literature reviews, most of us are familiar with using Google Scholar or similar databases to search for papers. These platforms mostly rely on keyword-based search algorithms. When you input a query, the search engine looks for those exact words or phrases in titles, abstracts, and full texts. The results are then ranked based on factors like citation count, author reputation, and publication venue. While effective to an extent, this method has limitations. It depends heavily on the exact keywords you use and your existing knowledge of the field. It's easy to miss relevant studies that use different terminology or simply to become overwhelmed by the sheer volume of results. The analysis and synthesis of information are entirely up to you, which can be incredibly time-consuming. Elicit and other AI-powered tools aim to address these limitations by using semantic search and natural language processing to understand the context and meaning of your question, not just the keywords. Semantic search tools provide more than just a list of papers. They offer summaries, extract key information, and can even synthesize findings across multiple studies. This makes the process of analyzing large amounts of papers much more manageable. In turn, identifying patterns, research gaps, and connections between studies is a bit easier. Okay, now that we understand the difference, let's see how AI-powered tools like Elicit can help you save time. First, go to elicit.org and create an account. Elicit offers both free and paid plans, with a free basic plan providing access to many useful features. The first step in any literature review is finding relevant papers. Elicit can dramatically speed this process. On the Elicit homepage, enter your search question. Be aware that Elicit works best with well-defined empirical questions. It works less well with identifying facts and in theoretical or non-empirical domains. Once you enter your question, Elicit will search its database of over 125 million academic papers. Within seconds, you'll see a table with relevant papers, including titles, authors, publication years, and brief summaries of each paper's findings. It's important to know that the list only shows papers that exist in academic databases, which can significantly reduce hallucinations over general large language models such as ChatGPT. Elicit also provides an overall summary of the top eight papers, giving you a quick overview of the current state of research on your topic. Use filters to narrow down results by publication date, citation count, or specific types of studies. For example, you can select meta-analysis or randomized control trials and so on. You can delete papers that are not a good fit for your search and mark down particularly relevant papers and then click show more like this to discover more similar studies. This process, which can typically take days, is condensed into minutes. You quickly get an overview of the field and can identify key papers for deep reading. An important question here is how accurate is illicit? The company claims that a good rule of thumb is that 90% of the information you see is accurate. This is significant improvement over ChatGPT. For example, previous research has found that GPT-4 hallucinates 18% of citations and 24% of actual citations have substantive errors. Most importantly, Elicit makes it easy to double-check the original source by showing you where in the paper the specific information came from. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, we can scan through large databases of papers and get nuanced answers to scientific questions. One of the best features of Elicit is the ability to extract specific information across studies. This can be really helpful if your review is focusing on a specific aspect, such as the methodology used in a paper. 
you can add new fields from 35 predefined columns, such as study objectives, main findings, limitations, theoretical framework, and many others. However, you can only add six columns at a time if you're using the Plus account, which I'm using at the moment. You can also add custom columns, which gives you significant flexibility. To do so, enter a specific question about the information you want to extract. For example, what are directions for future research? Here, you can also provide specific instructions when writing your prompt. For example, use bullet points to summarize briefly the main research directions of the paper. If the authors do not suggest lines of future research, leave blank. Elicit will analyze each paper and create a new column with the requested information. For the most reliable data extraction, enable high accuracy mode by clicking the target icon next to a column. For the plus account I'm using, I can only do this with a single column. What I really like about Elicit is the ability to verify the extracted information. All you have to do is click on the extracted statement. Elicit will show you the relevant quotes from the paper, allowing you to quickly verify its accuracy. Overall, you can quickly compare papers based on results, methodologies, sample sizes, or any other specific details across multiple studies, saving hours of manual data extraction. It's much easier to verify the extracted information than to extract it yourself in the first place. And here is a bonus tip. One limitation of Elicit is that it only has access to the abstracts for many of the papers that it finds. However, you don't have to use papers Elicit finds. If you have a set of papers that you're already working with, you can upload them directly to Elicit and then ask for it to extract the relevant information the same way we did before. However, keep in mind that you can only do this with 300 papers a year if you're using the Plus plan. You can even link your Zotero library to Elicit and download all PDFs from there. To do so, first connect Elicit to Zotero, then choose a library you want to import, and now you can see all of your papers. It's that simple. One of Elicit's most powerful features is the ability to quickly generate a comprehensive literature review that you can export with one click. Once you've refined your search results and added custom columns, click on the Export As button at the top of your results table. Choose to export as a CVS file. This will create a spreadsheet containing all the papers and extracted information. Open the CVS file in Excel or your preferred spreadsheet software. You now have a complete table for your systematic literature review. This table can serve as the foundation for your literature review, allowing you to easily expand on your analysis. Again, it's much easier to verify than find information. And here is a bonus tip. The initial table may look messy. However, you can import the Excel file into ChatGPT and ask it to format the table any way you like. For example, by specifying which columns to keep, how to format the information and so on. And also give you both Word and Excel files that you can download. Elicit can help you identify gaps in the literature, underlying theoretical concepts and common themes related to your question. Here are some ideas how to do it. First, look for inconsistencies across studies. This could indicate areas that need further empirical or theoretical research. Here, the summary of the top eight papers can quickly point out to mixed results in the literature that need further investigations. Second, after setting up your initial search and custom columns, look for patterns in the data. Add a column asking what are the limitations of this study or what future research does this paper suggest. This can give you ideas for future research that can help you address the limitations of previous studies. And finally, you can use Elicit to discover common themes and concepts related to your topic. To do so, on the homepage, click on List of Concepts and type your question. Elicit will scan through the literature and identify common concepts, theoretical frameworks, and findings that appear in the literature. This can help you identify key themes that have been extensively researched and areas that may need more attention. While Elicit is a powerful tool, it's important to be aware of its limitations and how it compares to other AI tools for literature review. Although Elicit has access to 125 million papers, it may not have access to all the relevant papers you need for your study, especially more recent or niche publications. For example, I asked Elicit the question, can money buy happiness? And it completely missed the latest research on the topic. But so did Google Scholar. It wasn't easy to find the latest papers there as well. The point is that Elicit is only as good as its databases it is connected to, and you still have to do some work. Overall, in my own test, it was a hit or miss for most topics. While Elicit's accuracy is impressive, over 96% in identifying relevant papers, it's not perfect, so always verify important information by reading the original papers. 
Large language models are also prone to hallucinations, and even though most AI tools now have almost perfect recall over large context windows, they're not necessarily able to reason well over large amounts of information, as some recent papers show. Elicit was also not developed to provide you with deep analysis and synthesis of the retrieved information. It excels at extracting and summarizing information, but it can totally miss nuances or co complex relationships between studies that a human expert would catch. So the good news is that at the moment, Elicit is not replacing humans, so you should view the tool as a complement to your work rather than something that can completely automate the literature review process. Finally, there are many other tools for literature review, such as Site, SciSpace, Consensus, and you can also use ChatGPT, Cloud, or Perplexity to get started with your literature review. When I asked all of these tools the same question, can money buy happiness, only perplexity provided an answer grounded in the most recent research. But even then, the results I was getting using these AI tools were much better and more useful than using Google Scholar. Overall, Elicit is now part of my literature review toolkit. It's not a replacement for your expertise, it requires vigilance and verification, but it significantly speeds up the process of doing a literature review. Within minutes, you can have a table with all relevant studies, and it's much easier to verify the information than have to extract it yourself in the first place. In my own test, Elicit was not better at finding the relevant papers relative to other literature review tools. I think that depends on your use case. However, what I really like about Elicit is its ability to create custom tables. The only other tool that allows this level of customization was SciSpace. Well, I hope you find these use cases helpful. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Good luck on your next literature review.